so yeah we have an iron rod of mass 2 kg and at a temperature of 280 degree celsius is dropped into some quantity of water initially at temperature of 30 degree if the temperature of the mixture is 70 degree celsius calculate the mass of the water initially we have an iron rod so let me just represent this as the iron rod of mass 2 kilogram and the temperature of this iron is 280 degrees celsius is dropped into some quantity of water so we have a water yeah let's say we have water here now okay quantity of water initially at temperature of so the temperature of this water initially is 30 degree celsius so i'll call this temperature theta one so i'll call this theta one so i'll leave this as theta so i'll call that one theta the temperature of the iron rod so the temperature of the water is theta one so now is dropped into some quantity of water initially at temperature of 30 degrees c full stop if the temperature of the mixture so now this is just the illustration now the iron rod is now inside the water so the iron rod is inside the water now so if you now throw this iron rod inside this water you will notice that the iron will lose temperature to the water that is the water temperature is just 30 it can only be transferred from higher temperature to lower temperature as in that is common sense so it cannot be transferred from cold objects to hot objects it can only be transferred from hot objects to cold objects now the heat of this iron is 280 degrees c in which i call that one theta so now it's dropped into this water in which i call this theta one so if this temperature should drop inside this water you should know that the temperature of this 280 will lose will reduce so as it's reducing at a certain point the temperature of this uh, iron rod and this water will be equal now they gave us that if the temperature of the mixture is 70 degree c so that means after it's inside the water, the temperature of the iron block and the water now, I'll call that theta 2, is now 70 degrees Celsius. Now, what is the mass of this water? So to find the mass of the water, so first know that it lost. It lost by solid the iron rod is a solid in cooling it's lost by solid in cooling from so that solid there is iron rod so i just use solid so to be general by solid in cooling from 218 degrees c to final temperature to final temperature theta 2 remember this theta 2 is now the final temperature because that is now the temperature of the mixture so now the 280 degrees celsius so it is lost by the solid from cooling from this 280 to this 70 take note so that means the heat loss by that solid is given by remember its capacity is m so its capacity is m c theta generally so mass times specific its capacity times temperature change so we can say the theta 
so this is general formula now so that is what we are going to use mc the theta now it's lost by solid in cooling from 280 to final temperature theta 2 is we, we can generalize it so we can say it's given by m1 let me call it m1 so that is mass of this iron rod so let's call that one m1 so that is m1 c1 that is the eighth capacity of the iron rod it should be given like here now specific its capacity of iron is given yeah specific its capacity of iron is 460 joule kilogram per kelvin so now times the change in temperature so but the change in temperature here yeah, you know it's cooling from 280 to theta 2 that will be minus theta 2 now this is the heat lost by solid in cooling from 280 to the final temperature so you should know that the water gains the heat that is the heat i'm dropping from here that i drop to this water the water gain that heat because the water is 30 before then it's gained it to be 70 so the water is the one that gain it so it's lost by the solid from cooling Fr uh, cooling from 8280 to final temperature of theta 2 should be equal to the heat gained by water so now it's gained by water so let me represent this as it should be equal to it's gained by water so it's gained by water too is mc theta so now mass of water let's use w as mass of water times specific capacity of water times theta 2 minus theta 1 so this is it so now to combine all the formulas now so combine all the formulas so let me remove this so it's lost by the iron rod is equals to m1 c1 280 minus theta 2 is equals to it gained by the water so mass of water specific capacity of water then theta 2 minus theta 1 now put all the values so mass of the iron rod that is 2 times specific its capacity of the iron rod 460 times 280 minus 70 so theta 2 is the final temperature 70 so mass of water is the one we are looking for times its capacity of water that is 4200 then times theta 2 minus theta 1 that is 70 minus 13 like that so press your calculator now so this will be 2 times 460 times 210 is equals to mass of water times 4200 times 40 so now everything here is equals to 2 times 460 times 210 so that will be 193 193 200 is equals to 4200 times 40 so that is 16800 mass of water so now mass of water is equals to 193200 divided by 16800 
So now divide from your calculator. So we have mass of water now is equal to one nine three two zero zero divided by one six eight zero zero. So that is Uh, 11 points maybe one zero is missing any zero is missing here so let's say four two zero zero times four zero okay that is one six eight three zeros so one six eight three zeros that is four two two times forty yeah so it's three zeros So, so 4,200 4, times 40 is that so mass of water so now divide 193200 divided by 168000 so that is 1.15 kilogram so that is the final answer